we are at Woolworths shopping centre. Uh, we want to go into a coffee shop. Okay. The pharmacy we are getting into. And then uh, we have a mind, mind to go to a coffee shop, but before that we entered entered a pharmacy here. Got some medicines. A small pharmacy, but mm. you get all kinds of medicines here. Latest additions coming in. We're having coffee. Having coffee, yeah. Now into the and pretty soon we'll be walking into shop. Big W. We're having coffee right now. Yeah. After this, we have the mind. Mm -hmm. We have mind too. Pretty soon we're going to walk into. We go to Big W. a small cup. Excuse me, uh, can I have sugar please? Sugar coffee is for my coffee. Australia's main drink I guess because Where everyone is oh, used there. to coffee from morning till night time. Richmond Marketplace. So I was looking for sugar, but I just left it while picking up the coffee. This is a Richmond Marketplace, very near to where we are staying, Loran Mithu. Very old house. Since Just like because it's very near, you maybe can it might go back to 100 years. Peep in anytime you want. So we just had time at our hands. So we just felt. Oh, you can see cars lined up over there. Even this one, side by side. Not many people. It looks very old. And it seems about 100 years. That same one. I look at the tree. Trees around takes your mind away from everything. Now, okay, I would film the camera.
This is a place where there's a bar over here. So we're here to waiting uh, for the car. Be in the bar, all of us. We booked our table and uh, pretty soon we are going in. It's a cloudy day, but absolutely brilliant. From around here, you can see a distance, distant hill, just because it's raining, it's drizzling in fact, Battle mark. it has Battle created mark. a beautiful Battle atmosphere. Battle, Battle mark. Battle mark. Oh, Battle well. mark is the name. It's raining. Karajang. Hmm. Karajang. 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 Walks through the rain and So, Asho. Courage and height. So we're going in. And we are walking into the restaurant pretty soon. So, for di our dinner tonight. From outside, you'll never know how big it can be. This one, this one's a big restaurant, and uh, lots of people. And tonight being Saturday, uh, it was booked ahead, all the tables, and pretty soon you'll find all the tables filled up. What kind of food they serve? Sometimes very difficult for us to gobble them up because the size of the food, especially burgers, some of the other items are so big, two people can, can't finish them. Seemed very noisy. The surrounding atmosphere is very nice from inside. You can watch outside. And through the mist, we could see the hills pouring rain. Meanwhile, our grandson, meanwhile, is slipping, but sometimes is waking up. He's weak. He just woke up. Laura is trying to calm him down, but he's experiencing from now on the environment, the life around him. Pretty soon he'll be used to it. Okay, happy birthday to Rukhaya Sultana. This is cutting a cake. A huge area. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was Rukhaya's birthday. Cakes being cut. Our desire has been shifted to Mithul's arms. There goes the cake into the mouth.
taking photograph. Is the custom these days. We are all busy with uh, mobile. It's been pushed towards me. This is to try it out. Now we are on an expedition to Palm Beach. Heard a lot about, about it. The place is marvelous. That's what, what we heard. So we are proceeding towards that place. And me totally beside me as usual driving. Traveling in a car, sometimes on a highway. Okay, this is Kuringai National Park. It's good to drive on a highway. Feel sometimes. Okay. <laughs> okay, anyway, we are going to a farm beach. <laughs> So it was Mount Kuringai. So Mount Kuringai. All Aboriginal names. The forest looks so dense. Sometimes you can't imagine when you go through the forest on a highway. The feeling is absolutely different, cool, and sometimes you feel you're away from the earth. No males at all. Palm Beach, the restaurant where we are supposed to be uh, together. Here we are, and from here we are going to step out into the water. So this is. We'll have to get down here because. Uh, Busy getting down. We're all here. Yeah, we are. All keep ramping for more. Hello. Hello. It's a nice, quiet town. So this is the restaurant where we, you know, have uh, some kind of 
lunch or something and from here we are going to uh, get to the ferry and from the ferry we are going down to the island and all those things thank you and uh, we are all here today Now we're sitting in front of the resistance. Sea wave has five food. Mostly. Thai and Chinese, but dependent on Thai food mostly. Went for some small shopping. Thailand. Meanwhile, you can look at the road and look again the surroundings. Lush green trees. Gives a weird kind of a beautiful feeling. And mm -hmm. this is really a beautiful small town. Avalon. Not many people, but look at the cars lined up all around. Even the name Look seems so right Avalon. There's a song called Avalon. I remember. I guess it's just got nothing to do with this town. So noisy, is everybody's the enjoying Mr. food, Raman. the talks. Be, be brother. Be sister. Be sister and the new restaurant. Zaire is crying, a small bit, not much. So, uh, uh, Mitura is having him in his arms. Then there was uh, boiled rice, there was uh, chicken in green curry, there's beef, there's beef masala, and lark guy. Say something about it. Okay. Food is really good. Being a, a person who stayed in Thailand for seven years, I can say that this food is good. Uncle? Yes. My favorite one. It was so good. That's a good one. You <laughs> This is Palm Beach. This is where we are. Restaurants all around. 
All of them have become restaurants. Some of the houses have been turned into restaurants. And we're all here, kids and us. Now pretty soon we'll be boarding, boarding a, a ferry to ferry us to different islands, small ones. Right, we are boarding this uh, launch. The ferry. Sorry, um, your webcam is going that line. On that line? No, this is not ours. You don't have bottles. This one is a small one, but even then. Oh, I think it's a small it's ship. I told him. Small ship, very, very small. Hours. And as soon as we get in, safe. Small but good look. It has a good look. Not too many people inside, but it goes around from island to island every day. I don't know how many times. Getting towards an island, and uh, I guess it's the exact We're going to touch three islands, I guess. Nice look. Islands. Many islands in the bay. That means the water has been going down since a long time. Long waves. It's fascinating how many things you can do in Australia. In Sydney too, so many islands you can uh, spend your lifetime <laughs> visiting the islands and all the islands I hear well equipped meanwhile Laura is having a good piece of cake
So David is guiding. I had a good conversation with him. And the islands are all filled up with trees. Anywhere you go, everywhere you go, these trees really greet you with all its beauty. This is a survival thing for human beings here. in Australia. Island, the more trees, to, the more down. clouds, and um, the more rain. Touching, touching this island, the survival. we move on to two more. And the last one will be the last one, the Basin Island, where we get down. That's why you see, in the summer. Uh, this is not on the way, this one is uh, uh, another island. So there are many islands in, this, in, the, in the ocean. And But we can see some of them. And in the look where the boats are, they're all being busy, traveling to the islands with people and all that. So this is a different life and a different environment. Nice and wonderful. Summer. 50 houses. Just because right. of the trees. Yeah, it's very Lots nice. of clouds really form up there and the rain is come down. Oh, this is Bennett, yeah. What's your name? David, what's your name? David, my name is Rumi. Rumi? Yeah. How do you do? Very easy to pronounce. Rumi. Rumi. <laughs> That's David. Yeah, David is good too. That's good. So how long have you been here with this? Um, on the boat? On the boat, yeah. Oh, four years this one? Four years? Yeah. Okay. So. Four years. Oh, you like it, right? You love it's it. It's good fun. Yeah. Keeps you fit and young. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should try it. <laughs> I should try it. Yeah, you said so. Yeah, maybe I'll try it someday. No, no, no. But this, this life is excellent. Yeah. I love the rivers, I love this ocean. It's good. And, uh, the, and look at the trees. Oh yeah. my word, so beautiful. And look at those houses. Oh yeah. God. So there's a national park behind me, right? Yeah, so it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Now you tell me, I feel like staying in one of, in one of those houses. You can do it. They rent them out, some of them. Rent them, right? Yeah. yeah. That's nice. There's a reserve down the front. You can walk. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Oh. Marvelous. We've been to uh, one of those uh, deer and pine forests. You know? You know? Okay. Wonderful. I mean, that trip was excellent. Yeah. 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 We live in Sydney. My daughter is here over there. Yeah. She stays Dora, me too. Yeah. Uh, they live in Sydney. Okay. My daughter and uh, son in law. Yeah. So we come from Bangladesh. And we live every now and then. We come here and uh, watch the cricket. I've been around. I was a cricketer myself for really? the national side. Did you play for Bangladesh? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Long time, for 11, 10, 11 years. Okay. There was a long time back, there was 1977 when the NCC came down to Bangladesh. Oh. First time. That was the first time we started off playing cricket. I was, I was a member of the NCC. You were a member of the NCC? From, what am I, 56? <laughs> I chucked it in last year. Right. I just not going back to England ever again. So, okay. so, so you, sad. Oh. But I was like, I'm 16 to 54. 16, 54. 16 years old to 54. Oh, and then why did you have to leave it? Uh, I'm never going back to England. Oh. So, you are English, right? Yeah, yeah. I was born there. Yeah. So, oh, which part of England? Um, I basically um, near London, just near London. London. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, just I, west of London. I love England. England, you know, because. Did you play cricket over there then? Yeah, we played, played in England because we went to uh, Birmingham to yeah, play yeah. ICC Trophy, you know? Okay, yeah, yeah. We played in 1979, okay. yeah. then again went to uh, England in 1982, okay. second time. Excellent. And during 1979, we even met the Queen. Oh, wow. <laughs> and we were all invited. Really? All of us were invited. All the great the cricketers. Team. Yeah, all. Oh, wonderful. Not, not Bangladesh only. Yeah. Everybody. Everybody. England, uh, West Indies, all yeah. the teams. Oh. So we had the greatest opportunity to meet all these guys. So we got broken fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Were you an all-rounder or...? All-rounder, leg spinner, yeah. leg, leg spinner, leg spinner and uh, number three bat. Okay. So, Excellent. I used to enjoy my cricket. Did you go to New Zealand recently? To no, the, New Zealand. The Bangladesh team went, yeah. Okay. Even they've been, we've been bit in New Zealanders. Yeah. Uh, but we were badly bitten in other... Uh, Areas. In the last, last program. Okay. 
but we are playing on an engine team is playing now. Okay. Uh, they are doing pretty okay. Yeah. But, so, uh, in the world any, Cup, any of your sons cricketers? Uh, he plays a little bit of cricket. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they play, play mostly my daughter, good singer. Really? Uh, I'm a musician too. Okay. Band, so I still go band. Really? I've been with the band for, from the beginning. What type? Uh, okay. Like from, a from the beginning when I was got played, played cricket. Yeah. And at night I would leave the intercontinental. Okay. I used to play in the band. Oh. So I still go band. Excellent. I have a blogger too. See? Yes, I'm, I'm noticing. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> you, you're faithful oh. today in the YouTube. <laughs> you should look up a friend of mine who's a massive YouTube star. Mm -hmm. His name is Stuart. Stuart. And he does uh, folk stuff. Uh -huh. and it's, it's called Danga Marine. Danga Marine? Yeah. Yes, yes. D A N G A R, where we all live up the river. Yeah. And he's basically a bit like your multi gifted it. Yes. Like, <laughs> He's a soccer, not a cricket, he's a soccer a musician. Yeah, everything. Oh, that's, that's, what is he doing? Uh, standing in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, he's <laughs> chilling. So we're dropping off at the basin. So there's a yeah. lagoon over there. Oh, okay. And there's a big park here. And then they camp on the other side. Uh, so we have, we've been dropped off here? Yeah, we're picking up later. Uh, after half an hour to... An, an hour. hour? An hour. One hour or two hours, up to you. Two hours, okay. Right, this is basin, right? We're getting off here. Yeah. Basin go. Jess, I might go to the middle ramp. Yeah, yeah. I The driver. The main man. Oh, it's good. The trip's over. We are uh, getting down here. Bess and Alan. The water seems so blue. So an annoying situation. <laughs> I'm getting down. Zaire is sleeping. I told David that I'm going to show him the vlogger, show him my vlogging on the way back. But on the way back, it was a different story though. Couldn't find him. But anyway. Everybody's busy now. It looks so nice. It's just waters all over the place, and then in the island, as it happens, the eucalyptus. I can't see them. And all kinds of trees. Some of them are rare ones. This man is Beer Swish to Mati Raman's brother. So finally we have arrived. The island is equipped with, as I said, everything. Long roads, small houses. 
There's a small bit of administration here too. Without that, he can't really control everything. Well, Rukia is excited. This is a dragon, small one, but not that small, quite big you can say. Lizard? Looking for food. Sort of, yeah. But I don't know, maybe in between something. At one point I thought it's Komoro dragon. The dragons are slightly bigger in size. In uh, Indonesia, you'll find a lot of them. But here, everywhere you go, you'll find many of them loitering around like human beings. They look for food because in the forest, probably they don't get any food, like the kind of food they really want. So they move around among the humans and they know very well that humans eat whatever they eat. It's stuff that uh, they might like and they do. They pick up food from the from the ground and anywhere they can, and so this is a lifestyle for them. Can I? I am going to take a video. Dragon. Wow. From here, there's not a piece of relaxation. There's a small pond. Left out from the waters that used to engulf the whole area once upon a time. People come here and use it as a beach. They use it in the uh, in the summer mostly, not in the winter. But then, well, it looks like a beach. Not so much water, but you can swim a little bit. Just couldn't resist. You can have some exercise and come back, relax, there and eat water? here. Pack your food, hmm. bring it over here. Hmm. Uh, snacks and all that. That's what hmm. we did too. Packing. Yeah, lots of fish. You see lots of fish? Close because the camera is all day in, in the water. GoPro enjoying like anything. Doesn't pick up all the things. I keep myself now. So anyway, we are having lots of relaxation and fun. All around this lake. Just like a lake. beautiful surroundings. Once upon a time it was filled up with forest and everything, but people came in, installed houses, so they can live here, they can use this place as a relaxation point. That's what they do here. They pick up places for people to relax. 
go around and have some nice time. Mouse, bird, this one too. and an only kangaroo here. Yeah. see all kinds of birds too. Can't name them but they look so nice. Blue Mountain. Our destination is the capital. Situated on the Blue Mountain. Towards Mountain Bell Cafe, Blue Mountain again, surrounding the lands around Blue Mountain. Scenery Road looks so nice. Sort of far away. like singing the song. Not that far, about 30 or something odd kilometers. Probably I'll put that song behind and put this nature behind the song. I got the song in my um, blogging. Probably I'll do that. And this is absolutely brilliant place. Look at the trees, look at the road, look at everything, look at the landscape. Everything is so fascinating. This is Changi Airport. We just standed half an hour back. We're sitting here after having a, a small meal. Sitting here, maybe for uh, four hours. There we go. End of our trip almost. We are at uh, Singapore Airlines 
airport. Not too many people, most of the restaurants were closed. So we had a five hours relaxation period, turnaround time. So uh, we'll have to wait another four hours before we board the Singapore Airlines on way to Dhaka. So we are relaxing, it's two o'clock and we're relaxing. Pretty soon we'll be off. Probably the uh, end point for us. And uh, we'll be back to Dhaka, another four and a half hours. Meanwhile, we are going to relax here for some small food and relax again, have a nap, and then go back home. This is the airport, flight's taking off. Pretty soon we'll be taking off too. I, hope, I just hope you enjoy this vlogging of mine. Enjoy the trip. This is a different sort of a trip. It's a long trip. I hope you enjoy this.